This year, I am not setting goals. Yes, you have read that right. And I don't think you should either, um, by that token. I really don't think you should. So, let me explain myself uh, before we get into it. So, that's why you've clicked on this video. So, as a person who is extremely used to setting yearly and monthly goals, uh, yeah, it's something that I will tell you, you know, setting goals is definitely a positive thing, it has some positive benefits. Uh, there are a lot of studies that prove if you physically note down or detail your ideas out, whether that's, you know, pen or paper, or whether that's uh, on a digital version, you, you make it a lot more likely to uh, happen, and that's, that's definitely a good thing. So, you're thinking to yourself, right, if that's the case, why is he here? Why is he telling me this? What's going on? Why is he walking at me with the camera like this? So many questions, lots of questions to answer. So, um, and uh, let's figure out how we can actually, oh, it's got night time, uh, how we can actually figure out exactly what we want to achieve, because they're normally key driver goals. So, here's the thing, in order for us, okay, that's not good, um, <laughs> in order for us to actually achieve our dream, oh, ah! in, uh, in order for us to actually achieve our dreams, and actually get what we are looking for uh we need to be setting goals but in a non-traditional way so not really setting goals we'll get onto it yes the traditional way is to write out all your hopes and dreams and just really start looking at that piece of paper after you've written down everything lovely and beautifully and go ah that was really good glad i've written that down glad i've uh, committed to that and you kind of look Look at yourself and go, yep, yeah, good job for me. That was really great. And then you keep that piece of paper. Maybe you open it once or twice, and that's basically it. It never gets opened ever again. Um, <laughs> so before we move on to that, I want you to actually just pause this video, just hit the big old pause button, and actually write down three goals that you want to achieve in the traditional sense. So just like three bullet points and yeah, just write that down. And then what we'll do is, oh my goodness. Uh, then after that, unpause this video. And once you've unpaused the video, you'll carry on. So now that we've done that, we're gonna do it in our new version. So our non-traditional version or something. And yeah, so our new version is to actually set activities and habits and stuff. Probably be thinking like, what is, oh, what's he going on about now? What's, what's he jibber jabbering about? Well, let's get into it. So it's said that if you want to create a habit of, you know, a, a way of doing something continually, that you want to do it for at least 27, oh, that scared the living daylights out of me. I actually thought that was a creeper. Um, so. He said that you need to do something for 21 days to form a habit, and that's kind of what we want. So, in my example here, what I would have done is create a goal in our first method before we change everything that said, I want to grow a YouTube channel to 100k subscribers. You know, that, that's the goal. That's a uh, goal that we can go to, that we wrote down our traditional method. However, how are we going to get there? How is that going to happen? So what I like to do with this new method of setting habits is if we make our new habit that we want to produce a YouTube video once a week, it's, I will start, you know, making my videos, going about that, kind of really getting into the day-to-day uh, -day of it. And so once I've done that, now I started this habit. And once I start this habit, I actually start making lots of videos. Now, if I had done in this example, set my traditional goal, which was my 100K, and I just left it at that, it would kind of be difficult for me to actually go forward. There's no plan, there's no actions to that. 
but making a video each week is actually something that can be actioned on it's something that i can keep to uh it's a really great step as well in this particular way to start getting towards that 100k i mean this can be done with anything so take your uh say if you want to lift weights at the gym you want to get a new weight class or something like that if you go from you know i want to be at this target weight to i want to do go to the gym this many times so it's a it's a different step it kind of involves different things but it's definitely more achievable you've given yourself a realistic expectation and so one of the key things with this is actually getting to the realistic expectation but we can make something that's realistic it's kind of easier for us to actually follow so like me making a video once a week is much more realistic than me uh getting to 100k subscribers and kind of like that reoccurring weekly tradition weekly habit daily to habit etc makes it really easy to track the dopamine because you are constantly getting oh okay i did my task oh i i worked towards my goal i did it i did it i did it kind of that uh, reiteration so now that we've done that i want you to do a second one so i want you to rewrite down that list of three that you made uh at the start and what i want you to do is write it down in our new method as a habit uh give try the example i've given if you can't think of anything but pause the video to do that you know go about your business pause it come back i'll wait i'll be here look i'll be hopping around i'll be just waiting while you're writing go and write wait write quicker do it more faster <laughs> um but yeah then once you've got that i want you to look at the two lists and you'll quite easily see how the second one is a much more achievable thing to keep to so that second list will 100 percent be way more achievable that you'll be able to actually complete week on week than the first one and i hope that with your goals that you have planned that you'll be able to actually achieve this uh by doing this so you know put down in the comments below all of your goals like your three goals the, the goal one and then the habits i think that'd be really cool to see what what you're aspiring to yeah i hope you enjoyed it if you did please leave a like subscribe but the most important thing is leave your comment about about your goals and and uh, habits yeah so i hope you enjoyed see you soon bye